this tier 1.5? Sign me up! Forget the intro! Let's go! And everyone, don't forget, Friday night, Friday night, three stacks versus Pen God. He's been talking shit, so Friday gonna be put in your place. Friday night on my channel, don't miss it. It's gonna be live, best of seven, Pendulum Mirror match, Zephyr God versus Pen God. Don't forget to slap that subscribe button and like button. Enjoy this amazing Dynamis deck profile. I'm gonna show you guys right now how to put up Appaloosa with Naturia Exterior backed by a Vortex every single turn in Dino Mists, boys. This will be a duel, I'm gonna show you guys a rated duel. I believe it was a rated duel, yes, it was a rated duel. And thanks to my stream, we are streaming every day moving forward, so go check out the stream if you haven't already. We had a seven hour stream today, and this is the uh, incredibleness that came out of it. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Anyways, let's go. I do see here Maria Greed. Maria Greed is amazing in this deck, not just because you play Dynamis, but also because you play a blue boy draw engine. I'm going to show you the deck profile at the very end. But the deck is actually remarkable, man. Holy shit. I don't know how I came, come up with these things. But Maria Greed, you can put back any Dynamis you want. You can put a whole lot of Dynamis. And the game plan behind it is you want to make Girgi Gigi into Cyberstein. And you sorry, Yuja, whatever you want. Summon out, summon it out. Guard Dragon combo. Apalooza on top. It's crazy. You can also Seal and Zeta if you want. But over here, Maria Greed is never dead because you play six blue boys on top of all the Dynamis you play. And it's gonna keep going here. You're gonna notice how many draw power there's in the deck. Ready just drew three cards. Normally there's a servant or abductor, because you play nine of them, three abductor, three servant, three mastery. So typically all these draw powers backed up by a servant or abductor on top. So we're gonna draw here into the void spell book of secrets. It, it, it draw power like crazy, but normally backed up. Like you never break in this deck, it's unbelievable draw power. And you're going, it's turn one, and you have seven cards in hand. Turn one, and it's seven cards in hand. Like Look at that. Like, Maria Greed make Dynamis sick because of Blue Boy as well. Like, it's... Imagine normally a Servant and Abductor, right? So normally you're, like, plus eight. You're, like, starting with eight cards before you even have one monster on board. Anyways, you're gonna uh, add plus some more here. Dynamis Charge Plus is for you as well. You're gonna go Ravine to get a, a Dark Run. We want a Dragon out there. We play Ravine. It ensures you have eight Foolishes, eight cards to ensure you're gonna get Dark Run no matter what. And it's absolutely amazing. And one thing we're gonna, I'm gonna say before we keep going is... This deck is actually viable. It's insane. Holy shit. Just watch for yourselves. We banished Time Gazer with Chronograph. As a, so we can't use Chronograph. So, but it's okay. You don't have to go Electrum before you pen something. We just sort of pen everything. Now, if you use a hat trap on Electrum, I don't even care. I don't give a shit. Well, I don't care. You still have the full combo. You're still going to have everything. It doesn't matter. Dynamis Charge is also going to get you back a Dynamis here, plus another card. So before before that is mandatory, before we go Gear Gigant, we're going to add a card with Electrum. It's the Dynamis card before any of that. Yeah, that, there it is. So what we did there, Gear Gigant, add Electrum. We didn't use its effect yet. Just so pop the Chronograph to Special the Cyber Sign. Now we don't even have to use Saryuja, but it's kind of the end goal here. It was, uh, man, even without Electrum before Pen Summon, and we still have this. So like... Like, I consider that a bad hand. I understand we had 17,000 draw cards, but I literally consider that a bad hand. And you're going to see, like, the end board we're going to end on. It is an auto-win board. So you're going to exterior over here. All spell traps are negated forever. It negates all spells and traps. And then we're going to uh, bring on Zeta. Over here, you have an option. We could have gone Appalooza instead. But uh, we already used our normal summon. Uh, wait, we did we? We could have gone Appalooza and Zeta if we wanted to. So this could have been an Appalooza with three and a Zeta. But I'm like, you know what? Let's go keep it simple. Let's keep the seal and the Appalooza. Because we are at low life points, we just want to ensure. We could have normal summon the Pateran. We didn't even normal summon at all this turn. At all. So we could have just make an Appalooza there. So Appalooza and Zeta. And all spells traps are negated forever. And you have an Appalooza, a Zeta, and a Vortex. Good luck, have fun. But I didn't realize I had normal summon, so whatever. He scoops right away, obviously. That's an unbreakable board. Now, game two and game three, we're going to fast forward quick so I get to the deck profile. It's a 60 card deck. Because you're playing a bunch of dynamics. Hey, even this is okay. When you draw too many blue boy cards, you're going to draw more than greed eventually. And if not, you use knowledge from hand. It's okay. Who gives a shit? Like, it doesn't matter at all whatsoever. And we're going to keep going here. I realized uh, his turn was so long. I'm like, bro, just do your thing. He, he's eventually... I'm going to, like, just tell you guys right now what he has. It was Zexel, I believe. Uh, or was it this one? You're going to see what was going to happen. But pretty much unbreakable board. So I was like... Uh, no, it wasn't Zexel. Sorry. It was like five negates with Appaloosa. I go little by little trying to bait him. And to uh, breaking everything, he has a whole guard dragon combo. Like, look at the hand with a hand like this. We almost broke it. Like with the hand, like, like this hand sucks. There's no servant even. If there was a servant, I'm pretty sure I could even do it, but there's not. But we're gonna keep going. Like Apuza has four negates, so we're gonna little by little just get him to negate everything. 
uh, little by little, we need, if he sealed the magician to hand, then we, there was a chance. If he sealed the magician, put magician back, we could dragon shrine, and uh, uh, then knowledge as well, like there's a chance. There was an outside chance. Not a huge one, there's an outside chance. But at the end of the day, that was a little too much because I have four. Apple's is really good, man. Uh, anyways, we're going to go to game three now. That was just an unbreakable one. I didn't side at all. I didn't side. I don't need to side for this guy. Otherwise, I would have side triple super play, triple sphere mode, and one automatically. Now, this hand sucks. This hand sucks ass. This hand, we drew no turbo cards. We played 40 spell cards in this deck. That's not a boost. We literally played 4 0, and we only drew one. Are you kidding me, Konami? So, anyways, we go Electrum. Uh, he's playing a deck like that. So the only hand trap really has is Drone and Lockbird. So, I'm like, okay, it doesn't matter. Electrum is always a full combo regardless. Even with the shittiest of shit hands, you're always going to have it. You have 15 dar Guard Dragons, where you're going to get one of them, obviously. You're going to keep going. Even if you didn't, you had uh, Exterior, Appaloosa, and Jackal. So, you still won. Didn't matter. Uh, yeah, let's keep going here. Getting Abductor just for another counter there for fun. Exterior. Uh, uh, guard dragon combo with the Destrudo. It's just nice. Like it, the hand sucked, and we still ended on the same. We still ended on sealed jackal exterior vortex, and the hand sucked. The deck's actually amazing. This is a deck profile. Uh, you're gonna play two of each of the Dynamis. Uh, I was playing around with three, but I realized I kept drawing too many of them because Dynamis charge is gonna add it. And uh, so the combo you want two level fours. We have eight. You have eleven, and Electrum sends one. You're gonna draw one. You're playing essentially like a forty card deck. It looks like sixty, but it's not sixty. You have these 10 draw cards at the bottom. You have six blue boys. That's 16 draw cards. You're playing 16 draw cards. So you're playing a 44 card deck. It says 60, but don't be confused. It's actually 44. Uh, one cyber sign is a whole part of the combo. Double dark worm, one gate zero. If desires banishes a cyber sign, who cares? You just play guard dragon combo after that. Normal pendulum, essentially. One jackal, one and demion. I know it looks all over the place, but it's by spell cards. I'll explain it later. Distrudo, one time gazer. Triple abductor, triple servant. Okay, the reason I put them here. Okay, you have 38 spell cards. That are these 38 below. Chronograph and Curtain Razor and Blue Boy get you spell cards. They are spell cards. They leave the spell cards. They're complete spell cards. So And Triple Servant, Triple Abductor with the Triple Mastery, you have nine of them with 38 spell cards. It's insane. Uh, so you have 38 spell cards there. Triple Blue Boy, Triple spell, uh, Secrets. You're playing a 60 card deck. This is a crazy amount of assortment. And if you drew too much of it, Maria Greed would just put them back. So it's fine. One Spell Book of Judgment. If you banish uh, a Spell Book of Knowledge, sorry, not Judgment. I wish that card came back. The Desires banishes. Who cares? There's so many lines of plays. It doesn't matter. Eight Foolish Burials, you want to ensure you see uh, Dark Run because it's a Guard Dragon. Uh, you have uh, 12 Guard Dragons in total, well, three Dragons that get the Guard Dragons. So you don't want to up the count. Uh, three Dynamis Charge gets you any Dynamis you want. Uh, I will do want to play this Dynamis. I think I'm going to go back and play it in case you open it. I played it originally, but it just didn't, uh, didn't work out. I think I'm going to take a one Secrets, or one, sorry, one Blue Boy. And I'm going to add one card, one Dynamis card. It was this one. Yes, it was exactly this one. Because when you open charge and you open a, let's say you open a dynamis card and a charge. Uh, uh, even game three, I had Electrum. It's a turbo card if you control a dynamis card. So we normal summon a level four dynamis, use charge to get, uh, to get Ceratops, special that you make Electrum. So having one is good, but too many is just bricky. They're not level fives. You're sorry, they're not level fours. You only want level fours, but you don't want to also play 50 level fours. It kind of, uh, it, too much of it sucks. That's perfect. A perfect amount right now. Triple mastery, one double or nothing. Because you play so many level fours in this deck, uh, going second, your, your your auto win is just uh, double or nothing. You bait your opponent with everything. They're gonna ash all your draw power. They're gonna stop Electrum. They're gonna stop serving. Who gives a shit? The end goal is just double or nothing. So going second, that's the end goal. I try to bait the other guy into it, but he had up a loser for four. It was just I couldn't do it. it two minus eight negates the guy had. And then ten draw cards. One off star triple 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 Moray. Moray is actually never dead. I had, had like ten hands I did with this deck. Uh, it was, it was never dead for me, okay? It was really good. Three Sphere, three Super Poly, two Evenly, two Spell Canceler, three Reboot. I want to save the normal summon, so I understand re, uh, that's why Deck goes on in, but Sphere Mode is so good versus combo decks, I just take out the Blue Boy Engine versus combo decks inside in these eight. Because you see one of them, you win. And you have 44 draw cards, you're going to see all these cards. It just got 60, it doesn't mean you're not going to see your draw cards. All these you could draw into with your Infinity draw cards. It's crazy. And these are just the best Super Poly targets. One Electrum. One Beat Cop, one LP, one Agar Pain, one Burst Dragon, one Saiyusha, one Seal, one Appaloosa. You're going to have the options there. Uh, Vortex, Zeta. Zeta's also going to go in second if you want. Uh, these, they're going to, just the way the deck is, they're going to have to stop it going second. Uh, Gear Gigant, Utopia is a whole part. Utopia and Boral Swords, like your whole combo going second. 
Going second, you just bait everything and then eventually destroy them with those cards and exterior. The deck's amazing. I'm telling you right now. Shout out to the two guys that donated it uh, for it. If you guys want me to break any deck of your choice on stream, let me know on stream. And we'll see you guys in the next video and stream. Peace.